Hello, good morning or good afternoon. This is George Nima from Map Real Talk Show. Today, we are Deer Valley Airport. We are about to interview one of the greatest gentlemen that I've met for a while now, and we're gonna get details as we go, the program goes. But for now, I want you to have a little shot, a panorama shot. We are Deer Valley Airport, like I said, and stay tuned, and we'll be right back. This is George Nima from Map Real Talk Show. Hey, 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 hey! Mapville Talk Show's at it again. Yeah, dude. How's everybody? Barry! Look at you! What are you doing, doing buddy? Fuck <laughs> you, Hannah, dude! How are you, man? Good. Here you go. Welcome back. This is George Lima again with Mapville Talk Show, and we're excited and delighted to introduce you. To our guest, Mr. Barry Carway. Hi. How are you, sir? Good, George. How are you? How are you feeling? Welcome to my home away from home. I noticed that this is like a gorgeous. This is in my checkbook. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that. This is a few yeah. years of a work in progress. But <laughs> a lot of work in progress. Yeah, it's home but home I home. humbly say that to you, sir. I really appreciate you for from the bottom of our hearts. And now I didn't say that to you before. I'm saying it to you on air. You probably mm -hmm. noticed that as the yeah. first time. Yeah. And I hope I didn't say anything wrong, but I just want you to know this is, it's called appreciation. On my left, actually, ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to introduce to, not that I forgot, but that's how the process works, is our co-host, friend, confidant, friendship, you name it, allocation manager, uh, script supervisor, singer, band singer, you name it, talented individual that happens to be, I'm lucky to be, call him as a friend, is Mr. Ken Ronk. Thank you. Come on, guys. <laughs> Yeah, man. You gotta get it when it when it. So as you all know, as you all know here, we're not pretending. This is not a pretend show. This show it's about the real deal, how people communicate with one another, and we're bringing it up to you so you could see maybe we could copy each other as we move forward in life. Sometimes the positive definitely will override the negative, and let's just hope at least that's where I'm aiming with this particular show, and to have an honor to have friends like this, to call friends. And it, they don't even have to talk anymore, because what I just said to you, this is the time to recognize the good people, and that's why we are, we are a positive show. With that said, let me get into the mixer with my buddy here and my new friend, Mr. Barry. I don't know where to begin with you, because as I study a little bit of your life, a little bit that I've seen, and follow you on social network, as you perhaps know already, I'm very, Tame to you, like you know, I follow you and I click and I comment, and and I noticed that one thing about you. I called you Charles Bronson, Clint Eastwood. I'm telling you of today's era, and I hope I'm not. I mean, you got that persona and that personality. It has nothing to do with occupation. I really don't even know your occupation, but you have that look, and I want like the world to see, even producers, directors, because you had that look. I only like I wish I would have met you like last year, because I would have done a lot. But we still have the future, obviously. My, uh, sir, your life, what is, what is your fiber? You know, when you were a little boy, now you're a big man, a tall man, I should yeah. say. Where, where, where are we with uh, Mr. Carl? Uh, you know, I, I, grew up in, I grew up in a uh, small town in Kansas. Right. Uh, Lansing, Kansas, as a matter of fact. Uh, small town there. Uh, my uh, grandfather was the first mayor of oh, that wow. town. So, um, you know, know, that, that was one. many, many years ago, but he was the first mayor. It was a town of like 2,000 people. Uh, grew up on a farm. Wow. Uh, did the whole thing, you know, with my dad feeding the cows, bailing hay. Oh, so, wow. you know, I grew up with that fabric of small town, living on a farm, working for whatever you got. And so as we progressed, uh, we worked on the farm. I went to school. Um, went to um, University of Kansas oh, well, uh, in college. But along the way, um, I met my wife, uh, Tammy. Tammy right. Carraway now. It was mm -hmm. Tammy McKay at the time. Um, but along the way, when I was 17, working at a gas station across the street from her house, right. she came riding by on a bicycle. Sweet. And of course, what's wow. a seventeen-year-old kid gonna do? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Come over that was, here. That was cool back in the day. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Let's talk. Let's yeah. Talk. So uh, she did, and um, asked her out that moment. I said, "Hey, let's go out," and uh, we did. And that was 46 years ago. Oh, congratulations! congratulations. So uh, that was amazing. She was 15. I was 17. I was turning it's like 18. Like the song said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, so we dated. Um, we seven grew up together. Basically. We did. Yeah, we did. Not that I want to interrupt. You also celebrated your 39th anniversary. Am I correct? We did. We dated so for seven years, something? and then we got married in 1981, and just uh, last week we celebrated our 39th oh, wedding anniversary. That is amazing. Oh, so we've been on a journey, to say the least. I and mean, you guys imagine. Live. That. I mean, you. You oh. live. You guys have seen everything. Yeah, you know? we even from the very first moment. I have to mention to the audience that Ken is also a friend with Barry for a long time. So go ahead, continue. Yeah, please. even at the very first moment when we first went out, we're from a small town. Remember, uh, we didn't stay in that small town for that day. We went to Kansas City. That was a big deal. That was a yeah, real right? big deal. I borrowed my grandfather's car. Uh, this. Ford LTD. Oh Lord! And uh, the you remind me of American Graffiti now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you brought it back with so, the first place trophy. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it had and, and, you know it had everything, the electric windows and everything. This is back in you know 1974. Oh, Does he know uh, you borrowed it? So uh, <laughs> he did when I, I brought it back. I borrowed it. Like, yeah, I yeah, borrowed it. Pretty much, he did yeah. when I brought it back. Uh, <laughs> But uh, so I borrowed the car to make a good impression on her. Yeah. We took off and, and we had a great date, and then it was it was game on from there. So in the, in the um, anyway, fast forwarding a little bit, yeah. we uh, uh, I went to University of Kansas, waiting for her. She went to the University of Kansas. Um, then I waited for her. Uh, I worked uh, while I was waiting for her to graduate, and so uh, in 1981. We got married on a Saturday. Nice. Uh, graduated from the University of Kansas on a Monday. And packed all of our stuff up in a truck with my dad and mom. And uh, we were on our way to Arizona. Wow. All that, all that, so all that, all that happened in five stories. days. It all in five days. Yeah, all in so five you, days. You take care of things and you keep things. I mean, if yeah. people can't see how meticulous Barry's yeah. plane and bikes and and I have to know Barry's other cars. And everything. Well, they're gonna see them in the inserts and the other people. I'm not gonna perfect. let that go. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, it's, it's it's been a fairy tale. You know, so we Absolutely. didn't have jobs. Uh, nothing. Nothing. You just we boom. lived with my mom and dad for three months. Uh, when we first got here, we lived with them. My job was to find her a job. Because, right? Isn't that what you do, right? Yeah. You gotta, I don't know, but you got to take the one that's most marketable yeah. and find a job. She got a degree in architecture. So, oh, that's so she was the one that was most marketable. I had a Bachelor of Liberal Arts. <laughs> what are you going to go with this at that yeah. time? What right? is that? You know. So I got an interesting story yeah. about that. Go ahead, I got please. a good story about that. Yes. So my job was to find her a job because she actually had a real degree. <laughs> so I drove around town. You like his office, right? I love it. We're yeah. going to we're going to architecture firm. She's you know filling out her resumes and all that. So she gets a job. Well now the heat's on. Now she's Literally. got a job. <laughs> I gotta find a job. Yeah. So I don't know what I'm gonna find do. a way for her to make money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was earning like six bucks an hour too. You know? So uh, she gets she gets her job. So now I gotta find. So, I, this is a true story. Yeah, this is a true story. Back then, the Yellow Pages in Phoenix was oh, two I books. Oh, yes. Two yeah. books, this oh, big. Yeah. This big. Yeah, the A through K and then the... Yeah, that one. So, I'm sitting... I remember this like it was yesterday. I'm sitting at my mom and dad's uh, kitchen table in these two big books, Yellow Pages. And I go, i got to find some work. So, I literally, this is right. true, started... Going through starting at eight pages yeah. and looking at what I might want to do because I have no real trade. You know? So I go through the first book, I can't find anything. I go through the second, I get to the S's going along, and this is that's really know, fun. I get now. to the S's and I see stockbroker. And I go, Well, that sounds like fun. 
I, I'm I'm going to be a stockbroker. I'm not like that. George Costanza. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be, you know. So I get to the S's and I get to stockbroker. Well, that was back when uh, Tom Watson was oh, with E.F. Hutton. When E.F. Hutton yeah. speaks, yes. people yeah, listen, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, cool, cool ad. So I get to the S, I go, that's it. I'm going to be a stockbroker. Tammy gets home that night and go, guess what? I'm going to be a stockbroker. I'm going to be a stockbroker. Did she laugh or was she like, no, <laughs> no, she'd already been with us. <laughs> she didn't even question it, you know. So, uh, so anyway, we're going along, and uh, I put out my resumes, and I called, and I got hired uh, with E.F. Hutton uh, to be a stockbroker. Can you hold this wow. slide? Guys, it's got a lot to say. Stay tuned. We'll take a short break. We'll be right back. This is Map Real Talk Show. Hello, and welcome back. This, I'm your host, George Nima, and we're going to continue our conversation. Unfortunately... He told us a little bit about the job before we went away, but it's okay, we're gonna come back and follow it through. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll come back again with Mr. Carway. Barry, we ended the first segment when you were mentioning, regarding you got the job, obviously. Mm -hmm. So can you take us through what happened after this with the IQ and all that stuff? Oh yeah, that? so um, so I was going through the phone book, right. as, I, as I mentioned, and I yeah. decided I wanted to be a stockbroker. So I, I called him, E.F. Hutton, I went for an interview and uh, they gave me this crazy uh, test to see if I could sell, right? So I had to go in for six hours and uh, call New York, literally, and try to sell these psychologists right. uh, <laughs> stocks. <laughs> oh, they didn't well, know what they were what they for, didn't they? understand <laughs> is that I didn't know anything about stocks. <laughs> right. I, I just wanted to sell them. So I figured, yeah, I'll learn about it later. Right. So I'm trying to struggle through this and selling these stocks and I, I don't know what I'm doing. So the guy, the, the manager calls me a week later and he said, we did the test. Um, people in New York say, you're never gonna make it in sales. Right. And I said, well, respectfully, uh, I'm gonna have to. That's the next hanger, guys. Don't worry about it, we'll continue. Um, <laughs> we are live. Yeah. That's the we're, thing live. we're live and we are real. <laughs> planes, no hangers, hiding that. Hangers, yeah. planes. You yeah. know. So I, I said respectfully, I'm going to have to disagree. Um, I think they're wrong. Right. I will make it in sales, whether it's with you or with someone else. I said, but you got to give me another test. I said, there's got to be something you can do. So he gives me a straight up aptitude test. Right. You know, IQ test, whatever you want to call it. I take this test calls me three days later and says, well, um, you know, I'm going to go outside my company's right. direction. Sticking my neck out. You ace this better than anyone I've ever seen. Nice. I'm going outside my company's direction. I'm on the hook, <laughs> but I'm going to hire you. Barry is nice. a stockbroker. Thank you. And so he did. And I was one of, uh, there's 10,000 applicants. Right. I was one of 350 that got hired with E.F. Hutton back then. That is incredible. And um, That's a big number. Yeah. The rest is Which history. Which is not surprising. I mean, no, knowing yeah. you, it doesn't surprise so, me. So, uh, it surprised me. I mean, you're, I mean, you're persistent. I'm you, a, you chase that, nothing stops your goal. Yeah, I'm a country boy from Kansas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that says it. Who are they going to get? I'm not really a stockbroker. <laughs> I just wanted to be one because I thought it was cool. Uh, so, uh, so, that's how... That's how I ended up getting into the stockbroker uh, uh, field for seven years. and But then the creative in me uh, right. took over and right. I just couldn't sit behind a desk anymore sure. doing this. So yeah. I had to branch out. And yeah. That's seven how we, years later. Yeah, that's how we got into the next things with you know, starting cycle rides, yeah. which I mentioned, and could, hat saver. It was a dot com cycle ride. Yeah, dot cycle, cycle rides. Cycle rides, dot com. Cycle rides dot com. Dot com. And uh, on Facebook with the motorcycles and what have you, and and at the same time, uh, before I you get into that, can you take us back when you were ten years old? You got the bicycle, and then <clears throat> you could come back to all that stuff you did. And oh yeah, yeah. Like when you were ten years old, what happened? Yeah. So uh, when I was ten years old, right. man, I remember this. Isn't that amazing? Fifty-four years for, ago. Yeah. Oh, I remember yeah. what I was doing when right. I was yeah, ten, for sure, specifically. And uh, that's your passion. So uh, I, I want to ride motorcycles, but yeah. I was ten. Didn't have a license, and uh, so I, I mowed lawns. Right. Two bucks a lawn. If I was really doing good, I had a big lawn. I get two fifty. 
Nice. So I saved every penny. I mean, I remember pulling out 25 cents to go to the local drugstore <laughs> yeah. and get some candy or some yeah. gum. But that was my motorcycle fund. Well, I finally saved up $35 yes. and went and bought a mini bike, a little blue mini bike. With blue? Blue. I know. I know, huh? I know. Well, now you're red. Barry, Barry is red. Everything about Barry is red. You. Even I, the couches is red. Hagar would be plain as the red. Later on, I switched. <laughs> I found out the red was power color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not blue. Uh, but blue was all I had at the time. But you know, they still had rattle cans. You're, so you're I just honoring yeah. the, the map yeah. colors. Yeah. So, I, so I bought my blue mini bike and I'm well, riding That's where we blue too. Yeah. <laughs> Different kind of blue. So I got my mini bike and I started riding. Of course, then that boom projected up and I did get a red. Honda 90s nice. trail. Okay, we'll let you off the hook. So I did. I did do that, and uh, a funny story. I'm riding that Honda Trail 90 around town, right? And the uh, local, hi those. local highway local highway patrol 70s. sees right. me, right? And by this time I'm 13, you know, something like that. He stops me. Where do you live, kid? I tell him where I live. He takes me back to my house, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> knocks on the door, I ring the doorbell at my yeah. own house, and um, I'm standing there at the door with the highway patrol, oh, highway and, patrol. and me, 13 years old, and I'm like five feet, and um, my dad opens the door and he goes, uh -oh. what'd you do, boy? <laughs> oh, boy. <Yeah. laughs> hey, that's like this town. history that's, there. That's how they handle things in this I'll never forget town. that. What'd you do, boy? <laughs> yeah, he and just knew. Uh, so mm. the cop explains that, you know, I was riding. I don't have a license, license. and stuff like that. So, so yeah, so that was my entry. Did he cut you some slack, by the way, I meant to ask him? He did. The officer. He did, yeah, but that wasn't the only time. So, uh, <laughs> there were others. Well, the way your dad said yeah. what you, what, what, what you yeah. There were others. One, I cut through a yard from one street to the next. and uh, What did you do turned into and, now what? And the, uh, and, and the cop followed me oh. in his car oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> through the yards, you know. So, it kind of, as it turned out, he got in trouble, not me. Uh, so, yeah. So, there were. There were a few instances like that. So that, it wasn't that small town after all. Yeah. Huh? It was a big thing. But, I, I mean, I was just a little kid back then. I mean, I was, when, when I got my driver's license, uh, my learner's permit at 14 years old, I was, on the, on the driver's line, I was five foot two, 90 pounds. Oh, isn't that When amazing? I got my 16-year-old driver's license, I was five foot four, 110 pounds. <laughs> well, take us back with Tammy now because... Where did she fit in in this equation? Uh, she I'm not fits in. in small town. Yeah. yeah, so I'm working at at the gas station, gas station across the street. street. Now the interesting part about this story, right? I'm at this gas station across the street from her house. Right. Here's the really cool part of the story. Her folks bought our house. Oh, oh, interesting. Her folks bought our house when she was like 12, 13. So. They're moving in the front door. At that point, I didn't care about girls. I cared about motorcycles and cars, <laughs> yeah, cars and, and, and this, you know. So she's moving in the front door. I'm moving out the back because I don't really want to see her. <laughs> she ends up wow. moving into my old bedroom uh -oh. this of is our house. This is incredible. So it's like, wow. That wow. wow, that is very How ironic, weird that is that? Yeah. yeah, so. So they move in, we're not an item at all, I don't care. And uh, she moves actually into my bedroom. So fast forward, now I'm a senior in high school and she's a freshman. And I talk to her there, you know, I go, hey, you know, if you ever want to go out, you know. She this is why you were working at the gas station now. Yeah, so school. I'm at the gas station. Right. So she lives across the street. So now she becomes interested in me. Uh oh. So she rides her bicycle to the road to nowhere. She's riding down this road that there's nothing there's down there. There's nothing down there. Yeah, nothing she, down and there. And she knows that. And I'm sitting there and I'm leaning against <laughs> I'm leaning against gas pump going, That's strange. <laughs> there's there's, Going to nowhere. there's nothing down there except riding past the gas station. So I let her go by. She comes back and I I whistle, I go, Hey, come here. You know, come on over. She comes over, we talk. And uh, I ask her out, and the rest, as they say, is history. Yes, absolutely, and it's uh, been it's been forty six years, years of from that day. 
uh, together, first but date. Yes, you guys just celebrated your 39th anniversary. Yes. yes. Uh huh. Yeah, we just celebrated our 39th anniversary. Yeah, so. I follow him on social network, and I saw that. Yeah, yeah. that was like wonderful. So, so uh, yeah, so that's the uh, fairy tale that I talked about. I mean, you can't make this up. No. So you was it weird when you went up. to see her to, that you had to go back to your your old house again? <laughs> All of a sudden, you're knocking on your own door. I know. Hey. I pull up to my old house. house. You by the yeah. Hey, what's going on here? I pull up to my hey, old house. I was in trouble with that door. house, right? Yeah. yeah. You can't get so, away. Uh, yeah, so then we dated for seven years, and they were. she was always in that house. Uh, of course, she went to KU, um, you know, where we were dating down there. Right. Did you show uh, her how to sneak out that bedroom window? <laughs> 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 I got this down. Uh, yeah. Here, there's a nice little latch yeah. right here. <laughs> Let me show Take you how this opens up. Yeah. So, no, it's, it's, what been, a great story. it's been wonderful. Uh, and it's just a fairy tale, yeah. just like I put in that Facebook Facebook, post. yeah, I saw yeah. that was like yeah. beautiful. Yeah, so. But I, also what happened now with Tammy, like the, from that point when I remember before you came to Arizona, right? Mm -hmm. You wound up moving here. Can you tell us prior about, you know, when you got married, what happened during that process? What oh, yeah, it? yeah. So what happened it's was, very intriguing, that's uh, right. you know, we were, this was back in 81. There was right. nothing going on in, in Kansas we City. We both finished school. She was an architect. Right. Uh, it's trained as an architect. Um, I, uh, I had a Bachelor uh, of Liberal Arts, which is... Where are you going to go with that now? <laughs> where are you gonna, what are you going to do with that? And you both <clears throat> done school there in Kansas. Both at the University of Kansas. Both, yeah. Both, yeah. So we both went there. I waited for her because she was three years behind me. Mm -hmm. And so we both graduated. Well, she also waited for you while you were finishing your stuff. Yeah, so yeah. Like, <laughs> so we both graduated. So, okay, so let's back up. Yeah. So uh, in January of that year, 81, we know we're both graduating in May. And we don't know what we're going to do. Back then, there was nothing going on in Kansas. It was recession. It was bad. But my folks had moved down here a couple of years Arizona. prior to retire. So we had come and visited them a couple of times in November, December. Thought it was great, it was growing, it was vibrant. Uh, Arizona's beautiful for us. It is so, a beautiful state. You know, we, we, okay, we wanna do this. So we're sitting there back in January, and I go, you know, we should move to Arizona. There's nothing going on here. When we graduate, we should move to Arizona. And she goes, yeah, I think that's a great idea. Uh, but, but I'm not going unless we get married. <laughs> <laughs> get to put a ring on so, it. Yeah. Ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Beyonce didn't know about that one. That was true. Maybe that's how she got it. And, uh, Tammy, huh? and I said, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. You want to get married? <laughs> and that was my very, very weak proposal. <laughs> There were no helicopters involved, no roses, <laughs> no, no one No knee. table in the middle of it a was the, Kansas. Field. It was the lamest yeah. proposal in the history of man. Uh, but somehow, some way, she, she said yes. And, nice. And uh, from that moment on, decided to get married. And uh, I was in 81. In May in 81. 81. And, and how it went down was we got married on a Saturday. We graduated from KU uh, on a Monday. And we were on the road to Arizona with all of our stuff in a wow. box truck. Amazing. With my dad driving. Were you driving. still on the Trail 90? Uh -huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Tammy's on the trail. <laughs> you know, your buddy, man. No, like, we, we sold. Headed, headed to Arizona. Yeah. Here we come. We sold almost everything we had. And what we, what we had left could have fit on that table right there. So we really had nothing. Guys. As far as the story of starting from nothing, yeah, we literally. Oh, that's another part of the story. We moved down here. I, I had fifteen hundred dollars wow. to my name. That was it, fifteen hundred bucks. We had a roof over our head because we stayed Which with my really mom more and than dad. Of kids at yeah, well, like at that age, that's good money to yeah, have. For sure. Yeah, I mean, we stayed absolutely. at my mom and dad's. Fortunately, we lived with them for three months until. You know, we could get Tammy out working. <laughs> so. Now we're giving into this. I've got to find her a job. <laughs> get into this application. How did it go, honey? <laughs> honey my degree don't mean anything. Honey, I got Your an idea. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that was the great part. How did you part sell of this? <laughs> well, you know, you know, I felt. Listen kind up, of... guys. You're about to hear a genius. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you do if your degree is pretty much worthless? And hers wasn't. <laughs> so you, you go with the was. So my job was to get her a job. 
I mean, yeah. I, I'm not dumb, right? Well, I got a beautiful right. woman That's already. That's where your IQ came. Yeah, somehow, <laughs> she, somehow she said yes, yeah. so I'm already smart. So I decided that she needed to get a job first because she was marketable. I wasn't. Yeah. Well, we're going to walk her into the set, and then <laughs> yeah. we're going to go for a cut. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to start again with Tammy. Is that yeah. okay? Yeah. Come on yeah. in, Tammy. Yeah. Because I kind of understand over there. Show no and show. Here, I broke every rule. Get in here. Here is. Yeah. Now you well, know why doing... she's marketable. Come on in. You got to sit in the middle. Here's Tammy. <laughs> Oh, I have to sit next to him? Uh, yeah, you have to. Uh, 46 Tammy? years and now 47. Great. Yeah, yeah. and you already know your friend, Ken. Yeah, you. <laughs> He's a co-host as well for the show. Welcome, Tammy. They wanted me to come get you. Guys. And we're going to warm up a little. So yeah. now, you, now you can put your uh, job back together. <laughs> so you know, Tammy, we know so everything. We, we know everything by now. But with that said, sure. you know, we're going to take sure. a short break. Yeah. This is Map Real Talk Show. We'll be right back with Tammy. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Map Real Talk Show. Once again, with George. Unfortunately, there's nobody else right now but me. Uh, our segment right now, the second one, we have the honor and the, and the privilege to meet the backbone of uh, Mr. Carway, his wife, Tammy. Tammy Carway, guys, come on. Hello. <laughs> she, she came to join us in this segment. We were so excited. She was at the end of the last one briefly, but now she's back with us. And I'm so excited to have her on board because she's I have so much thankful to her as much as I have for him as I indicated in my first segment. But at the end of the day, sometimes, like I said, friendship is not about money, it's about and success, it's about friendship. So it's like both of them go together sometimes because you still need the financial end of it, but sometimes a friendship could bring you better success in the long run, if knows what I mean, within the years to come. Again, thank you and welcome back, Tammy. You know, in your place here, I mean, you know, I don't want to be the one to welcome you, but it's just like I told him earlier, we came to you because we honor you guys. We brought the studio to you, so instead of you coming into the studio. So we mentioned it in the prior, in the first segment, but I don't want to get into it again. I want to thank you in particular because you're the backbone of, of, of your husband, as we all know, you know. What makes me bring this to my attention a little bit, I want to mention, because we talked about various things and when you're not here, you're going to watch it. But in particular, <laughs> about, the, about the plane. Because most husbands, like when they say, hey, honey, I'm getting a motorcycle, you go, oh, honey, come on. <coughs> And now you got the motorcycle, you're looking at him like, you know, it's a danger ride, you know, people thinking of all these things and as a wife. You could love, you might love it yourself too, because I saw you. Mm -hmm, I do. But you're also worried, right? But now he comes to you and says, I'm getting a plane. Like, run me through this. Like, I'm being very honest with you because <laughs> well, in America, that's a, like a heavy, like, bat. You let, know, let, let me just clarify this. Okay. <laughs> I did not go to her and say, I'm getting a plane. <laughs> oh, you just got the plane. Oh, no, 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 no. How did you do it? No, 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 no. I First, actually, let's go back. I, mean, I accidentally bought a plane. <laughs> and she will remember this just like it was yesterday. Okay, I'm well, sure. I'd like to hear from you. I just used my own. So, <laughs> so what happened was she has known that I've been wanting to fly forever. When I was four years yes. old, my dad threw me in the back of a Piper Cub right. and would take me your, flying. Your dad was a pilot. My pilot. dad and mom were both and pilots. Mom. Yes. They were both pilots. Wow. So he would throw me in the back of a plane. And we'd go flying. So it's kind of in my DNA. Yeah. And I and she knows that. I've been wanting to fly forever. Right. But you know how life goes. Right. When you have the time, you don't have the money. You don't have the money. And when, when you, you have, have the, the money, money you, don't have the time. you don't have the time. Just like you can't chew meat when you have no teeth. So, <laughs> so, exactly. so 12 years ago when I was 52. Yeah, that's what I want to touch um, on, the 52. You know, I, I thought, oh, man, I really want to fly. For the first time, we have the time and the money, and the money. to make this happen. But... I'm 52. That's my... another Cessna passing by, by Yeah, way. exactly. <laughs> Good timing, guys. Good timing. Good Thank timing. you. So I'm 52, and I'm thinking to myself, I, I, am I too old? Am I too old? Remember? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I said, am I too old to do this? I don't know. You know, it was kind of a... Very inspiring. It was, kind of, it was kind of a... I had to work that out in my mind. Right. Am I too old to do this? Is it past my time? And I go, you know what? No. So... Yes. That's what I have resolved. You're, I'm in my pride. So I go to, <laughs> <laughs> so I go to Tammy, and she'll remember this. And I go, look, for the first time, we got the time, the money. I want to learn how to fly. Are you with me on this? Because wow. I wasn't going to do it yeah. without, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, I was not going to do it otherwise. It just wouldn't be dumb. So she goes, 
I know you've been wanting to fly forever. I am absolutely 100% Wow, ready. I didn't expect that. Really, that's what happened. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That and, is and when incredible. You, and when you know Tammy, that, that would that, be I kinda, yeah. absolutely I kind of feel it, yeah. yeah. So I went about the question in the wrong way then. Because yeah. your, your history is like supporting one another. Like no, it was yeah. total respect because I wouldn't have done it any other way. Any other way. I mean, because, you know, we're friends, you know. We're, oh, we're married, we're friends, yeah. uh, we're lovers. And I don't want to do anything that's going to take me Same. away from us doing be the same. what we do. Right, right. And, I mean, that's maybe rare in some instances right. in this world, but that's the way we live. And so I went to her and I said, I want to do Still this. Working away, I tell you are that. you, yeah. are you on board? Mm -hmm. Yes. And she goes, absolutely. And so, that's that was the beginning. I went yeah. fast track. Right. Got my license. Now remember, I'm still working. Right. So I went fast track and uh, got my license right. in eight months. Eight. Wow. Uh, she loves flying like no other. So I got my license and uh, flew for a couple of years, probably three years, right. renting a plane. And then, <laughs> uh oh, here it yeah. is. Here's the then. Here we go. Look at that camera. That then. <laughs> That's your camera right there. And, and I and Rods dot com. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, uh, so we were renting planes. So we flew over to wow. uh, Big Bear, and, and you know we're renting this plane. We're trying yeah. to fly out. Right. Uh, out of Telluride. A out of Telluride. Yeah, Telluride. Oh. We're trying to fly yeah. out of Telluride yeah. in 172 in the oh. summer. And oh man, it was the most stressful thing ever. We're climbing out right. at 50 foot per minute right. at 60 knots. Yeah, nice. Stall oh, horn so going yeah. off every time I pull oh, back. No. Oh no. Oh man. And so I turned to her and I said, okay, if we're gonna be doing this. <laughs> These damn rental planes. If we're gonna be doing this. I need a solid We're engine. gonna have to have a plane that will pull this off. A Corvette. No, yeah. going, going yeah, yeah. back six turbo. months, I had mentioned a plane. She goes, I'll never, ever, ever yeah. own a plane. Yeah. And so I have this in my mind while I'm saying that. Wow. You know? <laughs> and I'm saying, okay, if we're going to do this, we're going to have to have a plane that's going to work. Right. Well, she's not dumb. She she knew. <laughs> she she yeah. knew. How expensive it and, is to rent <clears throat> a plane, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're so right. she yeah. says, well, you know, you're right. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I'd love it. We're, if we're right. gonna do it. We're we gonna need to do it, it right. And then yeah. what? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Month later. Yeah, it's kind of like the motorcycle. A week later, you yeah. know. Once he said wanted a motorcycle, it's like, yeah, about a week later we had one. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is awesome. But, that but, really is. But the great part of that is, is that was I think now what eight years ago we got this plane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, what a what guys, an awesome what a joy. Yeah. Guys, yeah. just to look at you guys' I'm at videos it, like, and the, the places you guys have seen and oh. it's been a life and, and changer. And for the yeah. moment, it's the great thing. For you guys to have a plane because folks you can follow him on youtube as well he has it all up there yeah, if you yeah. want to give us the link but you guys are so spur we'll of the moment down. you're, you're yeah. a lot like mm -hmm. us and so so you yeah. guys experience a plane a lot better than some people mm -hmm. who have to really plan i mean you guys can literally jump in yeah. this we just go and because you're such a team you, you could take off for dinner in, in mm -hmm. vegas yeah. and yeah. be back by tonight yeah mm -hmm. so you really get to use your plane because of how you guys are yeah, yeah. yeah that's a key word is team for sure. I mean, you, yeah. know, you guys are a good team. Yeah. yeah we, you know, mentioned friendship. And, and then comes all these pictures of uh, they can't see every everything on the We're wall. We're going to take shots of them if you could explain. <coughs> There's just this three things I really want to know about yeah. the one when you were like over the water that I saw on the video. <laughs> yeah. That was incredible. Uh, yeah. The other one when you're doing Jerome. I really want to know. I wish I had another hour. Mm -hmm. The one with Jerome. Like, you know, you had it on the motorcycle, right? Mm -hmm. And you had her with you too. Like, video that, that the was... route 89. Mm -hmm. And then you have it by the plane. Yeah. You yeah. did it another time, right? It that was the cool part about Can that. Can you tell us a little bit about it, like what like uh, all that stuff? I was able to show, you know, from the ground and then from the air, which puts it all together. But 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 backing up just a yeah. bit before I get to that, <clears throat> when we got this plane, uh, we got it in I think January or something like that. And I, of course you know me by now after this hour talking. Yeah. I don't sit still very long. So the first thing we did, the first trip we did with this plane, yeah. was go to the Bahamas. <laughs> That's the one I was, I was referring to. <laughs> okay, so we take over the water. We so take I... a 182. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> now I got the picture. <laughs> and take a test drive to most the people, yeah. they get a plane, they're going to fly to, they go to like some, like Sedona yeah. or Flagstaff. Yeah, yeah like local. Yeah, right. Maybe California. <laughs> fly around the airport. Vegas, you know. <laughs> 
I go, so, I, and Tammy will remember, I got this book. Well, I saw it on video, I got this so I remember book. it too now. I got this yeah. book. Well, yeah. here it is. He surprised yeah. me with a book. Here it is. And I'm Check like, this out. Yeah. What's this about? 2013 <laughs> Bahamas Caribbean Flight Guide, right? Yeah. So I got this book, and I kept it on the nightstand. Yeah. And I'd be thumbing through this book every oh. night. And I go, look, we could go here. So we you'd be going to a plan route. We could go here. Oh, yeah. Look yeah. at all these cool. Yeah. Put, so, remember that? Yeah. yeah. So he's he a planner. Plan yeah. You're a planner. So I'm going through all this <laughs> stuff. I'm persistent, too. So he's planting all this bait yes, on your night. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and he's persistent. Yes. And so she's going, yeah, that looks cool. That is so cool. So that then really is. in June Incredible. of that year, I go, okay, I've got it planned. We're going to go and we're going to fly out over you the water. You understand me when you, like, remember, like, like, your first trip and now you're going you know no i mean it's a little thrill it's more thrilling the nerves okay, that nerves but the the nerves came in when we lost our uh, alternator yep <laughs> okay that's what i was going to get into but she mentioned as that. we left the shoreline yep well, how did you manage that's a story to tell <laughs> and i saw out there the, you know yeah. nerve-wracking i mean if that yeah. was i i'll be honest with you i'm not going to ask like act like a hero yeah. now yeah it's yeah. a nerve wracker for me, like you well, know. Yeah, because I was watching the gauges and I yeah. saw it and I kinda look over at him and I you know, like, what's up with this? <laughs> so you wanna talk about and it? He said, oh, so, I hope you weren't gonna see that. Well <laughs> the the interesting part of that yes. story is we we take off from Florida. Now we can remember yeah. that's why I took you there because yeah. <laughs> and, and this is and this is this plane you have now. Yeah. Yes, in this plane. I mean we take off, we've never been even anywhere close. So this first time we've ever been over the water, over the ocean. So we take off we're 10 miles from the coast of the United States which, at this point. Which is We're out there. Yeah. <clears throat> Look over, That's far see yeah. the That's alternator it is. <laughs> has gone out, and we're watching the volts oh my God. tick down. Yeah. You know, tick, 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 oh, tick. No. Well, I know the motor's still going to run, but this is a retractable gear right. yeah. airplane, which you so need electricity yeah. the yeah. uh, to do that. Oh, Lord. So I'm watching the alternators, and I, and I told Tammy, I said, you know, we, we're so far out now, we could turn around, but I don't know where this thing's going, but I do know that the motor's not gonna quit. If we have to, we can crank it down. So we continue on, and we're watching it click down, click down, click down, and so we make it to Nassau in the Bahamas, right. and we get the wheels down, wow. and now instead of 24 volts, now we're down to 14 volts, wow. but we get the wheels down, mm -hmm. and we get it landed, and uh, have a guy work on it, can't quite get it fixed, so we charge it up, we do our other routes, we come back, and now it's worse. Oh. So you literally <laughs> yeah. take off knowing you, you, the you, you, you take work. off yeah. knowing no. oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. we know that's an that, adventure by itself. And that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, is very <laughs> well, that's why I'm asking you. I was looking at you because I want to know. Okay, he's a he's a, uh, when you in charge like of something you kind of now everybody knows. Right. But the rider sometimes like where where are you at that? There was no well, repair over there. Yeah. There was no yeah, alternators. What are you, gonna do? you yeah. can't. Yeah. You I know it's gonna last. I know it's gonna last an hour. I know the motor's not gonna quit. And I know if I have to, I can crank the wheels down. But we went over, and it was fine. Coming back, oh my not God. so much. <laughs> we <laughs> get going. Yeah. Now, right? We get we get going. We get back in, and I and I call. You know, we're on with the tower and everything, and uh, I get cleared to land. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. It's all Put good the at wheels point. down. Everything goes. Yeah. All the electronics, yeah. the radios, oh, no. so everything have, goes. You, I didn't know about I that can't, one. I can't, yeah. I can't talk to anybody anymore. So yeah, we, you're dead. We go yeah. around. Dead in the air. Uh, I, I do have clearance to land. I land, but I can't. I'm done talking. You, you, to you're finished. I can't so talk to anybody. Yeah, we can't So then move. you got, yeah. We can't move. You got to go to. And we got to go to customs. You got to go to customs. So. The plane's still running. <laughs> But I can't talk to anybody, and you're supposed to talk to them. Oh, now leave. they're going. What's up with this guy? Yeah. So yeah. they send a truck What's out. This you know, they, they put the emergency. Yeah. From the yeah. They they What's knew was something happening. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. God. Thank God. So that was uh, anyway, we get over to customs. It ends up being okay, and we order an alternator, and we get it fixed so we can fly back home. Yeah. But, and that's uh, not the wow. first time you guys have had it. It literally quit in the air. Uh, yes, we we had one where well, we hurry up before we, I want it like can we hear it or yeah. because we, that's really uh, this one was a little more intense. I call it the edge, you know. This one was <laughs> on the edge. This one was a little more intense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you elaborate on it? Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean yeah. we take we go fuel at Pueblo, Colorado. We take off, we're climbing oh, out, and um, 
Uh, we're at about 8,000 feet, but remember, you know, you're 5,000 feet there anyway. So yeah. we're climbing out. It's all good. And all of a sudden, the motor just goes. Blah, blah, blah. Oh Lord! And and, and one of the jobs shuts of, off. One of the Done. yeah yeah one of the jobs of right seat is always to look for a landing area. Uh, yes. And I had just noted we were just coming out of oh. the flatlands, oh, starting wow. to enter mountains. Mm -hmm. Oh my. So at that point, you don't have too many options. You have no options. We were right. two, two minutes Colorado. away yeah. from being on the other side of the mountains, right. where there would have been yeah nothing. nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Oh, yeah. man. So yeah. we're up here, and the motor quits. I'm doing everything to try to get the motor, motor running, running again. Doesn't go. Long story short, um, I'm talking to ATC, telling my motor's out, and uh, I find a, a yeah. runway yeah. that is there on the chart. And so I go, and I start heading for this runway. Great. Got a runway to yeah. land in. We're yeah. all good. We get about quarter mile, half mile from this runway. I have it perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, no, I don't have any motor, right. so I'm gliding. Right. It's all good. I get about 30 feet above the runway, and I look, and there's six cars parked across the end of this runway. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. It's an abandoned, <coughs> oh, this is a, it's an abandoned, abandoned runway. abandoned runway. There's mm -hmm. six cars parked, and I turn to her. I go, hun, if we try to land here, it's going to end up as a fireball. Wow. I said, we can't do it. I hadn't even looked to the left. There was a field over the left and barbed wire fence. Banked it about 25, 30 degrees, oh, two good. seconds later. So you had to make quick decisions. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two Man. seconds yeah. later, we're bouncing through this field over Prairie, Prairie Dog. Dog. <laughs> Prairie Dog Village. Prairie Dog Mounds. <laughs> Glove apartments open wow. up, stuff's flying off that the dash. That is intense. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm, you know, we're both just kind of waiting for the yeah, tree didn't. trunk to be across there or a gully or whatever. We didn't know if the gear would collapse mm -hmm. or. Oh, we thank God, anything. you guys. With that, we're going to have to end our segment because we ran into like a couple more minutes over time. But yeah. I just want you to know, and I'm so delighted. I'm proud and honored to have you guys on our show, which is in your hangar, in your home. Mm -hmm. But bring it yeah. in to start of coming, like I told you. We really appreciate you, Tammy, so much for giving us the guidance and help in all category. And of course, to you too, Barry. Mm -hmm. I will never forget you for what you have done as well. We'll talk about that another, another yeah. time. We're gonna continue. This, I can't mention the other thing. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, NDAs, you know. Yeah. I can see Barry a but, little later. Yeah, but we will. Yeah, but you know how it is. But, Ken, I want to thank you for introducing me to you, my buddy, pleasure. and your friend. This thank is what all the folks, always enjoy ladies and gentlemen, friends. everybody where things started, like right now with this whole equation, what created was from Ken. Mr. Ken Ronk was the key. So I just want to thank you publicly. I didn't even thank you that before that, right? My I do it in the right time. I thank him publicly because uh, that's what he brought up all this friendship that you see here. And I also, I never forget the people behind the camera because I'm also behind the camera. And without a doubt, I want to give a round of applause to yeah. Mr. Yeah. Rosen, James <coughs> and Elena. Another you guys, great team. You guys yes. are a great team. Uh, and I want to thank you again for moving the studio to the hangar. <laughs> and please take some shots of the whole hangar. So so the audience could feel what we felt today being here. And we are, we are thrilled. I use the word thrilled because everything that I do in my life has always been compelling in, a, in one way and then thrilling in another. So it's like, uh, I don't have no regrets as a personal. And no, those are the moments that I feel in spirit with this gentleman and his wife, uh, the Carway family, and with Mr. Ronk and his family, and with the Thornton's family. It brings me to another level. So because everybody talks about the negative all the time. I want to end this with a positive just and people won't say why I'm always smiling and happy that you're looking around you. It's not money. It's the friendship and the bond that I create and they create with me. So that's why I call it ours and yours show. Again, thank you for tuning in. This is my real talk show again. Until next time, I don't say goodbyes because we're all in this world together. Talk to you real soon. We'll take it. Boom. See you. Stay tuned.